Hello, 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 and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is I, your favorite alchemist, the alchemy goddess. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You are greatly appreciated. Um, this is your November 2020 monthly Zodiac general reading for Leo. Hey, Leos. It took so long to get to you. I'm a Leo Virgo, so you know. I watch Leo, Leo Virgos, and Virgos, and I watch Libras, Zodiacs, because my moon and rising is Libra, so. Anyway, <laughs> um, how was your month of October, Leos? Have you gotten rid of um, what's necessary so that you can make room for these transitions about to take place? It's a lot of changes about to go down. Y'all ready for that? Um, I hope you enjoyed your Halloween if you celebrate. I hope you enjoyed your Day of the Dead if you celebrate. I hope you enjoyed the month of October period with the full moon on the 31st. I hope you did some rituals to release some things out of your life, get rid of some energy, some people. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shuffle up these cards. And I'm going to get ready to start pulling some cards for Leo. Um as I've been doing this for the past couple of months, I'm going to continue doing. I'm going to do a reading on you and your person, how your person sees you, how you see your person, what you don't want your person to know, what your person doesn't want you to know, and the overall energy for the entire month for the both of you individually, not together, okay? So let's go ahead and let's get started. I'm going to cut the deck and we'll begin. Starting with the bottom of the deck being the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, new beginning maybe, Leo. New beginning maybe, Leo. Um, yeah, so let's go. How does Leo's person see them for the month of November 2020? How does Leo's person see them? Ooh, got a few cards on the table. Three cards to be exact. I'm going to take them. Your person is <laughs> making a choice about you. Mmm. I don't know here, Leos. They're making a choice. They got to make one, right? And it's a delay. Like, I feel like it's a delay with love or a delay with the new beginning in love. And then, of course, the devil card reverse you. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Or <laughs> some of your people could be dealing with letting go of toxic things. It, you could be toxic to them. It's possible. Maybe, you know, it's just that that devil card reversed. Though. I'm feeling like someone is like letting go of dependencies. So maybe your person's letting go of dependencies when it comes to you. Maybe not depending on you so much. Not leaning on you. Not looking to you for advice or help. Hmm. Spirit, how does Leo's person, how does Leo see their person in November 2020? Doubtful. Burdened. How do they manage? <laughs> so you see your person as being asleep. <laughs> like they need a wake up call, okay? They carry a lot of burdens, a lot of baggage. They hold on to a lot of past situations. And that's the ten of pent I'm sorry, the ten of wands reversed, and then the five of wands. So you kind of look at them as being at peace, like they're content with this bullshit. Like that's how you see your person is being content with the bull. And they see you, I don't know, I kind of feel like delayed new beginnings. Like they want something with you, but it's delayed. Probably letting go of something toxic. Probably all that shit they're carrying. Okay? They have to make a choice, though. And they really, you know, they really have to make a choice. At least that's what you see. Spirit, what does Leo not want their person to know? Leo, what are you keeping from your person for the month of November 2020? What is Leo keeping from their person? What does Leo not want them to know? You're not, you're not, you're, you're distracted. <laughs> this card. card just flying all over the place, eh? You're distracted. Page of Cups, Eight of Pentacles reversed. You're distracted. Why are you distracted? What is distracting you? Emotions. 
Spirit, what does Leo not want the person to know? What is Leo keeping from? You want to be with them. You want to be happy with them. You're distracted by them. <laughs> you're happy with them. You want to, like, you're distracted because of some feelings about them or whatever, maybe. But you want to be with them. You want to be happy and, and abundant. But here goes you. You're not, like, you're not yourself. You're just not yourself right now. Feeling very unsure of yourself which is not very Leo-like. Spirit, please. <laughs> what is Leo's person keeping from them? What do they not want them to know? Hmm. So your person... What they don't want you to know. Some of them have children and you don't know. Some of them have another person in their life and you don't know. But some of you, different. Some of you, your person is like, you make them feel like a kid. You do. Like you're perfect to them. Like I feel like like you, you're perfect, or or you could be dealing with a um, Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or some of you could be Leo, Virgo. Okay, um, cuss. I'm a Leo, Virgo, cuss. But I feel like you make them happy. They just forgot their worth. They forgot their worth. They're trying to find their worth. They don't have a plan. I don't have a plan of action. So they're not giving any energy to the situation because they don't know what they want to do. I kind of feel like they're giving up on something. Something they wore or something they invested in. It did not, it didn't turn out the way they expected it to. Spirit, please, any messages for overall energy for Leo for the month? Oh my goodness, they cut the cut the cut. The cards, the cards, the cards. The cards, the cards, the cards. Whew. Two of Pentacles. Leo, two of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles reverse. Any more messages for overall energy? Mmm. So you're going you're gonna be doing a lot in the month of November. Trying to balance things. Holding on, holding on to your money, trying to invest in building something better for yourself. I feel like this is telling me to say, keep investing. Hold on to your money. Keep investing until you have an idea of what you want to do. Like, you got to keep working for it. You got to keep working for it. I just keep hearing that. Spirit, overall energy for Leo's person for November 2020. Air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with the Queen of Swords or, excuse me, someone who is putting things into perspective. She's a bad, like, he's a bad, um, not a bad, but I, they know who they are. You know what I'm saying? King of Pentacles. Yeah, they know who they are. Spirit, overall energy for Leo's person. Mm, it's just slowly happening. Change is slowly happening. Empress reversed here. Ooh, something is blocking, something is blocking creativity, like, I don't know, I kind of feel like you need to keep investing in yourself, and you're so distracted, they have you distracted, they have you distracted, that's not a good thing either. You being distracted, not a good thing. Because you're supposed to be investing in yourself. That's why it's not a good thing. And they're they're securing themselves. I feel like they're very secure. 
They know what they want. They know who they want. Like, they just know they're they just good. Like, it's just like, I feel like them getting closer to you is slow. That's slow. Like, their actions with that are very slow. They ain't gonna rush that at all. Spirit, please clarify. How does Leo's person see them? They think you're keeping something from them. They think you're sneaky. Yep, very introverted, you know? You're, they, they feel like you're moving in silence. They, they might pick up on something because they feel like you're moving in silence. You're not sharing everything with them, okay? Keeping it to yourself, spirit. Please clarify, what does Leo's, how does Leo see their person? Mm, a lot of self-reflecting. <laughs> Air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you see your person looking within for the answers. They see you as soul searching, doing some soul searching, letting go of your negativity. Like they kind of, they like, but they got to make a choice with you. <laughs> They have to make a choice with you. And I don't know if they know, like, it's that, that, like something's delaying it. There's something that's delaying this. That's why they're taking some time to reflect. Spirit, please clarify what Leo doesn't want their person to know. You feel very, like, defeated. Like, whoo. Two of Cups. I think we need one more card on the table with that. We need one more, Spirit. One more card. What does Leo want their person to know? You are about a hard time moving forward. You are stuck. It's like you need them to acknowledge something or say something. Because you want to be with them. You want abundance with them. But you're not confident about that. Because y'all don't speak probably. Maybe y'all aren't, you know, close like you used to be. And you're very bruised from this situation. Very scarred. But you're okay. You know? And... You just can't, you don't want to move forward. Like, you just, it's like you don't want to move on without them. It's like you don't want to move on without them. Spirit, please clarify Leo's person. What don't they want them to know? Family energy, soulmate energy. Spirit, please, what doesn't, that's what's delaying them. Spirit, one more card. What doesn't Leo's person want them to know? Ooh, they discovered something. Your person's discovering something within themselves, big time. So remember over here, we had the Ace of Cups reverse for you, and that's how they see you. Something's delaying it. They want to be with you, though. They do. You make them very happy. You make them feel like a kid. They're discovering something, all right? But I feel like they don't know how to go forward with the Seven of Pentacles. Like, something that they invested in is not working, and I whatever, or, or it's not producing what they hoped it would so they're very unsure about how to move forward that's what's delaying it okay spirit overall energy for leo for november 2020 please clarify for us the overall energy for leo you're hesitant about moving forward too with some things you, you want to move forward but i don't even think you're ready you're not secure for this i feel like you and your person are definitely not together and you're not secure you're not you're not even stable enough for this situation you're not. Like, you need a wake-up call, honey. You you trying to balance a lot. You trying to maintain a lot, and I get that. But what's bothering me is you don't know what you want to do. You don't have a plan or any kind of focus for the future, especially with money and stability. You know what I'm saying? And security. You're not secure, you know? And that's your king of pentacles over there. Here you go with the king, king of pentacles. Your, your person has the king of pentacles upright. They, got, they get their shit together. What are you doing? What are you doing? Spirit overall, please clarify overall energy. Eight of Wands reverse. Overall energy for Leo's person. The happiness. Your person is happy. Your person's definitely secure, you know, about you. <laughs> they don't have doubts about you. They just don't know how they're going to go about it. And they are moving very slow with the Eight of Wands twice in reverse. It's very slow. They're coming very slow at you, but that's what they want. And then this again is Leo energy with the Sun card. You are what they want. They're confident about that and they're sure about that. There's no doubt about that in their minds. They are definitely working on letting go of some toxic energies, maybe doing some shadow work. That is the shadow card. Maybe they're doing some shadow work and something's just delaying it. You know, that's what I'm feeling like. But they feel like you're moving in silence and you're moving, you know, you're 
they they see you as working on yourself basically and maybe that that is why they're pulled back because they don't want to interfere with that or maybe you shouldn't be interfering with theirs either told you they're coming to some self-discoveries they want to be with you you want the abundance they want the emotional fulfillment y'all both want what y'all y'all both balance each other but something's telling me that that empress in reverse is like you gotta wait on it you gotta wait for it to come to you and stop trying to go to it stop trying to go to it seriously bottom of the deck energy moon card reversed repressed feelings tells you spirit please confirm mm. how your person sees you king of swords Told you, it's a, it's a air energy. Devil card, again, this is the third time. Damn. Yep. Your person sees you. They know you're dealing with your demons. They know you are. They know you're making much better decisions now. You know? And they, they want to make a better decision dealing with you. They don't want to make no mistakes. So they're moving very slow. Keep that in mind, all right? So here, please confirm. How does Leo see their person? How does Leo see their person? Healing and happy. Healing and happy. You want to celebrate with them. And you want to heal with them. <laughs> they they got to do this by themselves, baby. They got to do this by themselves. But I get it. I do. They're spending... You, you see them reflecting. And... Reaching new heights. That four of wands makes it feel like they're reaching new heights. Spirit, please confirm what Leo doesn't want their person to know for November 2020. Leo, you want them. Ten of Pentacles, you, you want abundance with them. They are your person. Like, you want... Mm -hmm. Spirit, please confirm. Knight of Swords, you won't say it. You're not going to say it. You're not going to communicate it to them. It's understandable. Let's get one more card, though, okay? Spirit, please confirm overall what... Yeah, no, we're not gonna take them. Spirit said now. Spirit, please confirm what Leo does not want the person to know. November twenty twenty. Mm. World card reverse. Hmm. You don't. You don't want to move on without them. I get that really strongly. You don't. You don't want to enter a new season of your life without them. But you may have to for now. You may this may be a season of self. This may be a season of action for you to do something to create some stability. I really get that. You know, especially with the energy down here with your overall energy, you really need to create some stability. You need to take some action. It's necessary. So here, please confirm Leo's person. What doesn't what don't they want them to know? What doesn't Leo's person want them to know? Knight of Cups. Mm. Spirit, please confirm. What does it... Mm. Spirit, please confirm what the... Okay. They tired of thinking about it. I think that they've, they're burnt out about you. You hurt them. You've done something to them, and they've discovered something inside themselves within that, though. You know, I see it in love. I see it in them offering you love. It's just delayed. The ship has sailed. They know they can't go back. You know what I'm saying? Um... And they're burnt out. They're really burnt out about the situation. I kind of feel like they don't want to get hurt. And I question this card because it came out. It flipped out of the deck. But when it flipped out, it flipped over. So I don't know if it was reversed or if it was upright. But nonetheless, I kind of feel like it was reversed. Like they, they, they want to offer you love, but they're so hurt. And they're so burnt out about this. I feel like you go back and forth a lot. Spirit, please confirm overall energy for Leo. Leo, secure emotionally in control of yourself which is good um reconciliation type of energy spirit one more card please confirm overall energy for leo okay you want to you want to reunite you want to share your feelings <laughs> you want to reunite with this person, you feel like you're better. You're in better control emotionally, but I don't think you need to right now. Spirit, please confirm overall energy for Leo's person for November 2020. They care. Major cups, right? They definitely care. Look at all them cards that fell out. That's crazy. We gotta take a peek. 
Justice card. We already had the Justice card right there. Empress. Mm-hmm. So please confirm overall Leo's person's energy for November 2020. Please confirm for us overall energy. Your person's getting out their head. They ain't in their head no more. They definitely not. They letting go. They letting go of whatever hurt them. They getting out their head. Which was probably, honestly speaking, that's probably what kept them from you from the go. Because they were hurt. Something that you did hurt them. Or something that they went through hurt them. Okay? It was a horrible pain. They were stabbed in the back or something. It could have been something you've done. Something you did could have stabbed them in the back or made them feel that way. Betrayed by you. Okay? And it burnt them out. And they just, they don't want to really offer their love to you. You know, they want to pull back on that. But they love you at the same time. Like, that's what's delaying them is they've been hurt. So their overall energy is getting out their head and trying to let go of the pain. They really do want to let it go. They're working on it. Okay? I told you some of you could be doing shadow work. Okay? It's just delaying. <laughs> it's just delayed. But you need to focus on your money. Leo, you need to focus on your money right now more than anything else. Get your stability up. Don't worry about don't worry about this person. What about that bread? It's gonna be a cold winter, all right. And I don't mean cold as in um, ice, like you know, as in the temperature. I mean cold as in things are not gonna be as readily available as they were. It's gonna be a cold winter. Get your bread up, Leo. All right, let's see. Is there any oracle messages for Leo for November 2020? Can we get three oracle messages today for Leo? Slow and steady. Told you. They moving slow. It's like they don't want to fuck up. It's like y'all, whatever y'all did to each other, y'all hurt the fuck out of each other. And they don't want to fuck this up again. They're moving really slow. Spirit, please... Any oracle messages for Leo? Ancient wisdom. Told you. Y'all been here before. This ain't even the first lifetime. Just anger. Somebody's angry. Like, they're mad. They're still mad. Divine time and let it happen on its own. Message, Leo. Your person's angry with you. Okay? You hurt them. But they, whatever happened, they were hurt. All right? That ship has definitely sailed. Remember, take what resonates with you, the rest, leave it. If it don't, it don't. Just don't. You know, check your moon, check your rising, check your Venus. But for this Leo reading, you hurt them. They're angry. They still care about you. They're finally starting to let go. Maybe dealing with the shadow is, you know, delayed, but they're working on that. They don't want to fuck this up, so they're trying to move very, very slow about this. Get out your head. Worry about your bread. If you want this, work for it. And I ain't talking about work for it by chasing. Be in the, in the energy of receiving. And what I mean by that is make sure you're, you're handling your business so that you're in a place to receive what it is that you're trying to receive. How can you get this? You want this stability. Something about, about the situation tells me that this situation, that this individual is very stable. Okay? Mentally and financially. And something says you want that. You got to get on that frequency. Period. Get your bread up. Focus on yourself. That's it. All right, Leo, that's it for November 2020. I hope you enjoyed your monthly Zodiac general reading. If you would like a more in-depth personal reading, you can email me, theblackcosmicogen at gmail.com, or hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. I'll leave all the links down below for you guys. Don't forget about my shoe drive. Don't forget if you want to purchase Selenite, hit me up. If you want to book the Twin Flame 9-card reading for $25, hit me up. If you're looking to... um. What else? What else? What else? Participate in my shadow work class, which I actually did not do yesterday, but I will be doing this Sunday. Um, I just took a day off to get some some time to myself to rest and relax and do the things that I love to do. So um, if you're interested in any of those things, hit me up. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. And I'll check you guys next month. Check out the Daily Tea and Tarot Monday through Friday right here on my YouTube channel. All right, y'all. Y'all know what it is. I ain't got number love for my Leos. <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace.